Peggy 16. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. Good to finally meet you, Conrad. I think when we initially find Conrad, the audience might be a little bit taken aback. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Because he's sort of rude, he sort of does whatever he wants, but what I like about this game and what I like about these characters is that depending on how the player plays, the choices they make, it can sort of mold the character. Guys, look, I think we gotta listen to our experienced, beautiful, smart, and beautiful captain here. If she says we should do things Connie, the right- please, I didn't bring you on this trip to get laid. Wait, what? So Conrad will always be Conrad. Conrad will always have this sort of attitude, this sort of brash nature. But depending on the choices the player makes, he can become a heroic character, or he tries to save his own life and takes off. You are an idiot. They left, didn't they? That doesn't make you any less of an idiot. He is not the most likable guy in the world, but I think that's what's fun about this kind of storytelling, this kind of gameplay, is that Supermassive creates stories and games where there's so much branching content that a player gets to choose and sculpt the kind of storytelling that they want. Hey, uh, mind if I help you out a little? One, why are you acting so weird? And two, why are you offering to help for like the first time ever in your life? Look, I was just thinking it might make a good first impression on the lovely Fliss. Okay, now... I think my favorite character in the story is actually Brad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Miss me. Hey, man. Wanna crack a cold one with me? And I think I like Brad because he brings the least amount of baggage to the story. I also feel like as I'm shooting the game and watching the characters develop, to me, Brad sort of feels like the audience. He's knowledgeable about the situation that they're in. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. He has historical knowledge of the myth and also about the area, the historical area that they're in. During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. Yeah, sorry, yeah, uh, nerd burst. <laughs> oh, please, keep going. But I also think that he is the one that is less distracted by the other relationships. I think that Fliss is on a mission. She's there to guard and to lead our group. So is everybody on board and ready to go? I think that Julia and Alex are so intertwined in their personal relationship that they're almost distracted to everything else. So Brad sort of shows up. Even though he's Alex's brother, he's almost like an outsider. And so he's watching all these people. He's meeting almost everybody for the first time. So to me, I think he feels like the audience. He's discovering this world. How's that? Nice detective skills, by the way. I did have maps. Just be rad. It's right there in your name. First of all, I'm a huge fan of horror films, horror entertainment, so I do enjoy being a part of the genre. And I think really the big difference, giving a horror performance versus any other performance is essentially they're normal people put into an extraordinary situation, a heightened situation that we would never want to run into. And so usually, you get to explore the depths of terror and fear in a more exaggerated way than you would in a straight drama. But that's fun. Again, you just get put in these extraordinary situations and you just have to react to, you know, your worst nightmares, your worst fears. And I always find that fun. I think what I'm most excited for players when they experience Man of Medan is, first of all, the world that's created. I think it's an incredibly lush, beautiful, sort of an intoxicating world. And also the variety, the beauty of where we start and the really horrific griminess of where we end, I think is a great journey. I also think that it's gonna be very exciting to explore the possibility of how these characters react. And again, that's why I'm a fan of games like this. That's why I was a fan of Until Dawn, because you take these normal people and you put them in an extraordinary situation and you get to play out your fantasy as a player, essentially. You know, you get to experiment, like, what would I do? And I think that each character is relatable. And so when you're making these decisions, when you're choosing the fate of these characters or how they will potentially explore this world, you're really asking yourself as the player, what would I do? 
And sometimes it's fun to be honest about what you do, and sometimes it's fun to just potentially make the wrong decision knowing you're doing that. I think that's a really fun thing, and I think players really enjoy that. players.